fellow beer tubers, and welcome to Beer Review 750 with me, Peter the Master of Puppets, joined by Jakob Lomolt. And today we're looking at a really, 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 really special beer. This one is a beer that's never going to be made ever again. So we heard. So we've been told, yeah. This is one Jakob picked up. At Sour and Bitter in Copenhagen, this is none other than the Three Fontaine from Bose. Yeah, I had it cellaring for two months. Yeah. Because first of all, I had to wait for you, and then for the trades, and for the trades. We have, we had, we had six bottles. We've already gotten all out except one for the trades. I think. Yeah. So <laughs> goes fast with you like this, and we're getting blubber next week. I'm actually going to go pick it up. So. Uh, the 18th or something like that. Uh, but this is the Fambos 16 or uh, 6% big 750 bottle. This was made on uh, by request from uh, Jebe and uh, Henrik from Tregelil here in Denmark. And they help Amman help, uh, decide what beers they, they use to blend for this Fambois or Fambos. Um, and it says here on the back Oak Age Lambic with 30% raspberries of the Pajotland area. Spontaneous fermentation in the bottle, not filtered, lamb is brewed with 60% malted barley, 40% wheat, aged hops in water. Open carefully. And <laughs> it was released for the first time, was it 96 I think? Yeah, something like that. And that's the only time it's been released, and that is the 96 bottle is a big, 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 big white whale. But now they released it again and people went crazy over it. And Jakob told me he had it already. It's freaking phenomenal. Somehow I lost my city. I don't know where it ended up. But Fred Kahn from Hubbing Frog Brewery, he gave me two of his tickets. Yeah, his tickets. And um, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Without you, we wouldn't have these products. So that's <laughs> awesome, man. It's, it's a, an expensive beer, too. It's like almost $40 beer here. So, yeah. Very fitting for a big number like this. But yeah, let's get it. I'm not coming in. Nice red color. Yeah. Dark. Uh, oh, especially on the light on yours. It's like a nice ruby red color. Yeah, ruby red, obviously. Lightly pinkish, more of a white head on it. Yeah. Uh, but it looks like a uh, framboise. Uh, yeah. Cherry, or ter sorry, raspberry lemon. A little hazy, actually. Yeah. yeah. Some haze on there. I can smell the tartness. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Let's check it out. Uh, wow. Wow, that is so. <laughs> wow, that smells awesome. Holy crap, that's so funky. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is a really impressive yeah, and funky. The, uh, the fruits in here kind of like plays well with the, um, the funk. Yeah, yeah the funk. Kind of like it, it lifts up. It gives a fruity note to it as well. Yeah, yeah it's got a lot of the raspberry, but it also got to get like that vinegar kind of, almost yeah. like in a balsamic vinegar. Yeah, balsamic. But not as much as in like a Flemish sour. But well, a lot of barnyard funk, like horse blanket and stuff like that. I get <laughs> almost that cheese like aroma. Not as intense as like in Shame on You, which is a little bit unpleasant. Yeah. Super funky. A lot of the raspberries. Almost like a light cherry kind of note, like the cherry pit or seed. <clears throat> yeah. Super complex. <laughs> super tart. <laughs> Smells super refreshing. Perfect for the hot summer rhythm. Yeah, a lot of that. A nice funk kind of quality to it. Kind of like that wet hay or mm. some grassy notes. It's got almost like a vineyard character to it as well. A little bit of oak in there. What about you? What do you think of? Yeah. Um, wow, so much raspberries too. Though. <laughs> it's like sweet raspberry mixed with the tartness. Really yeah. nice. But it kind of like it's 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 a, it's light as well in the aroma. You kind of you almost get no malt presence. Um, yeah, it's just sourness. Yeah, it's sour. Yeah. Smells. It smells really, really nice. Do you want to give us a taste? Yeah. My teeth are... Probably the last time we'll ever get to try this beer. Probably. <laughs> Same <laughs> thing. Cheers. First and last. Oh, for you, right? Oh, oh, oh. Wow, I was just about to say, that's not really that sour. The sourness <laughs> comes in the comes back end. Yeah. And lingers on there. Wow, that's really nice. Wow, it's funky. Yeah. Especially in the first initial sip. It's a sip it is. It's not as insane as Mother Funker by the brewery, but it's got a real solid tartness on it. Yeah, but it's kind of balanced as well. Yeah. It has that fruity sweetness to kind of balance it out. Really nice vineyard flavor on there. Really vineyard. Like yeah. almost like a rosé wine. Yeah. Not like red wine, but like, I'm thinking like rosé or something like that. With yeah. the oaky component and the raspberry flavor. And also it's got like that more generic red 
berry, like a kind of almost cherry flavor. Yeah. It's, it's, what do you pick up? Oh wait, the mouthfeel, the mouthfeel on it. Light to medium. Dry finish. Holy crap, this is amazing. <laughs> ah, I have a, a scar on my lips that kind of stings it. Uh, <laughs> the sore? Yeah. But yeah, I'd say light to medium. Quite dry. And the dryness lingers on your tongue. Really refreshing for this weather, man. Oh, it's yeah. It's really hot, right? It, really hot. It's, day, it's like 80 degrees or something today in Denmark. 25 degrees Celsius. Yeah, 25 Celsius? Yeah. That's not 80 then. That's like 75 or something like that. But it feels more hot because of the humidity. Because we got like, yesterday we had 94% humidity. <laughs> so, and today is probably along the same lines, but great for this type of weather. Nice with the tart cherries. It's got a lot of that funk, a lot of that barnyard, a lot of that horse blanket kind of funk. And it's definitely got that horse blanket. Yeah. And as well as some kind of <coughs> meaty foliage is really kind of like that dusty. Yeah, musty, dusty, dusty, old, dusty, musty. Yeah, old flavor too. Um, with some lambic has that like dusty, musty, old cellar on the aroma flavor and some oak. Yeah. yeah, definitely get the oak. Um, but a nice sour sourness to it as well, and the sourness is very well balanced with the with the nice complexity of the tongue. Yeah. Um, I know this is a big hyped white whale, but I can definitely see why. This is easily the best uh, raspberry lambic or raspberry sour I've had in my entire life. This is freaking phenomenal. So this is a really, 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 really good sour. I mean, the complexity on it and the funk is so, so nice. I would have loved to be able to try the, the 1996 version, because people say that was even better than this. Yeah, but you know people reminiscing about the past. Yeah, but still, for me, it's not a hundred beer. No. Um, it's a really, really good sour, but it's not, it, it, and it blew my mind, but it's not like up in the 100 level. I'm gonna give this a 98. It's a freaking amazing sour. I love it. Um, but I just don't really see myself giving it a 100. It's really good, the nice complexity and all, but yeah, 98. Yeah, I'm giving it a 98 as well. It's uh, extremely balanced, uh, balanced, balanced, balanced. It's, it's kind of, to start out with it, it has that almost no sourness, then the sourness kicks in, and then the, and notice how it balances perfectly. And I really like the mouthfeel on the lighter side because some of the lambics do tend to have a little higher mouthfeel than this one, but this is lighter than my taste. I, I don't know, but no, no less. That, and it's so complex. But yeah, mind you, it's really complex for this. Um, really good beer, guys. So, yeah, that does it for the 750th review of the Three Fontaine. Crumbles, phenomenal stuff. Um, Three Fontaine and Cantillon are by far my favorite land breweries, so they never disappoint. So yeah, guys, if you have the chance to get this, get it, trade for it, all that stuff. Let us know what you think of it. Think of it if you've had it, especially if you've had the '96 version. That would be awesome to hear. Yeah. The As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're gonna see you. Cheers. And we're gonna see you guys in another video.